Hello, welcome to Cloudpin. In this episode video, I'll explain how to publish Craigslist ads and Kijiji ads. I will add some necessary functions during the explanation. First, open Cloudpin. Click on Account. You can see that several tabs will appear. This shows the difference between Craigslist and Kijiji ads. It mainly depends on the account. When adding a Craigslist account, you need to bind the email account, and Kijiji does not need to bind to the email account. Why do you want to add a Gmail account to publish Craigslist ads? Because Cladpin is the process of advertising, and Craigslist will send the relevant link to the specified email, and Cladpin needs to get this link to proceed to the next step. So the email is bound to the Craigslist account in order to receive the content sent by Craigslist. First, I'll explain how to add an email account. You can see that there are two tabs in email, email accounts and email servers. The left side is the menu bar of the function keys. This is the email protocol used when receiving emails. If you don't add an email server, you'll be prompted that the server can't be empty. Therefore, before we can add an email, we must first configure the corresponding email server. Cladpin can get the required email correctly. Next, look at the email service and click the Add button in the left column to add an email service. In the first two text boxes, you can custom fill in the content. It's better to choose these and add a good email server when you add a Craigslist account. There are two types of protocols for receiving email, POP3 and IMAP4. Here, you must fill in the correct IP address and port number. Cladpin will give priority to using POP3 to get the link in the email. If the crawl fails, Cladpin will continue to use IMAP4 to crawl the link. I'll explain the two login types in the drop down arrow. For example, xxx at yyy.com. Some emails support logging in directly with xxx, so you can choose only the username part before the at symbol. Generally, it's easier to choose the full username login of the email. It should be noted that some email accounts need to open these two protocol functions in the corresponding email service provider where it can be used. On the box to the right, Cladpin provides users with some common email servers. If you need, you can click on the domain name and it's automatically um, entered on the left, and then you click OK to successfully add the email server. Now back to the email accounts. At this point, we can add an email. This will display all the email services I added on the email servers tab. Select the email service I just added and fill in the username and password. Then choose the proxy you want to use. The following two text boxes are equivalent to two categories. Vendor can contain multiple batch numbers. And we want to add this email account inside of the batch number. There are two panels in the left panel. 
And with this option, you choose the default global email that you want to use. Now this is the Craigslist region option and Cladpin limits the use of email inboxes. Here you can find or directly enter the name of the region or area that you want. If you choose a local area here, Cladpin will use the email to only post ads for that area. Here is the zip code for the area. This option here is the disable button for the email account. If you check this, Cloudpin will not use this email account for any kind of operation. Click OK to successfully add the email inbox. This panel that's displayed is in the form of a tree diagram. The nodes are campaign, new email server, vendor, and batch number. Now I'll continue to introduce the function keys on the left side. This is the management of the email account. This is the management of the Craigslist account. This is the management of the Kijiji account. You can see that the email account and the function keys on the left side of the account are basically the same. These are function buttons such as add and delete. And here are the usage restrictions. Check to indicate that the email is enabled. This rule is how many times the mailbox is allowed to be used within the specific time and the interval length after use. Here are two filters. They are display the account by the attribute of the account, display the account by the node type. Below is the import export function. Now about importing, text can be used to introduce a text file. You can also paste the text directly into the text box below. Here is the import format added to the text box as a line of data and then imported. Craigslist and Kijiji import formats are displayed in the corresponding text box. You can export the desired account data according to different conditions. This is the last button of the function menu. Click to display more options. For example, check batch move and other operations. The only extra button in the email accounts function menu bar is to read the email. Now choose an account. There are two tabs on the right. The first tab, select the email account. Click this button. You can grab the email in your inbox and display it in the right box. You can see all of your emails here. Because the account was randomly added before, the crawl failed. The second page of options you can verify by checking the email inbox. Checking account information and email service information is correctly filled. Fill in the number of threads allowed to run at the same time. Fill in the timeout period for verifying the email. Click to start verification. Next, I'll explain adding a Craigslist account. It's similar to adding an email, but you need to select an email before this. The option page on the right side is also able to verify that your account is normal. 
Cloudpin will check the account and will open the browser to verify the account status. You can also uncheck it without displaying the browser window. Now you can add an account at will. Select it. Click Start. After, a window will open to verify the account. Similarly, the Kijiji account is the same method of operation. You don't need to choose an email. And then the kind of payment card. It's best to add a credit card information here. Because if the published ads need to be charged, Cladpin will randomly select a credit card that you added. To add an advertisement description, click on Advertisements. Click on Add in the function menu bar. First of all, let's add content. Click the button to add advertisement content. Go ahead and add a custom name that appears in the ad list. Now this is the posting mode. You'll choose how to post your ad. Priority level. How to add an advertisement to the advertisements queue, you can choose to insert or put it at the end of the ad queue. Fill in the title and content of the ad here. Click Spin to set up the account. Spinner can rewrite your text so that similar ads are posted multiple times. You can also click here to add multiple ads. Due to the different regions where the ads are posted, Cladpin will randomly select one of them to publish. Next, let's look at the second tab. Select Regions and Categories. On the left side, select the advertisement that you want for some of the areas. On the right side, check which categories you want to post your ads to. Kijiji and Craigslist advertisement settings are similar. A check will be in the Kijiji page. Now we've completed the regional and classification category settings. So you need to complete the information in the third tab. This can be easily distinguished according to the color. Red and black information needs to be perfected. Blue is perfect or does not need to be perfected for information. Now click on the fill button. Cladpin will have to fill in the data to find a good look for the same information to automatically fill in the corresponding positions. The fourth tab is Schedule Control. First, check Enable Schedule Control and add two schedules. Click this button to display the tasks that will be executed afterwards. Check these two options to set the start and end time. This setting refers to the task added to the run list, and the advertisement will only be published during this time period.
In the Next tab, here you can choose to advertise the account. Here are the regions and categories. You can choose an account for advertising or you can quickly add an account. If you add multiple accounts, you can use different accounts to post ads in different categories. Now the last tab, Variable. Unified Replacement Content. If there's too many duplicate contents, you can use a variable instead of the need to fill all the information. And finally, Unified and Variable rewritten at the time to fill in the basic information. Click OK and you've successfully added the advertisement you want to post. Now I've selected this ad and it can be seen in the right panel, one line of a display of advertising data. Select one or more ads and click this button to add the ad to the task queue. Click Refresh, then click Start. Cloudpin will automatically post the ad. And to publish Kijiji ads, the operation process is the same. Now the video ends here. Thank you so much for watching.